Here we go for the mini stock <laughs> You're trophy right about, dash. You're right about the sun. All right. Mini stock trophy dash getting ready to go. On the pole, the 77D of Danny French, John Soares. Fast time, or no, this is invert of uh, your qualifying, this trophy dash. Uh -huh. 86J of John Soares, the 42C of Carrie Cecil. And your fast time qualifier, the number 9T of Tom Jenda. After field races out at Orange Show, so actually, most of the field races out at Orange Show Speedway, San Bernardino, California, and we go green. Trophy dash for the Pony Stocks. I'm just trying to find out who's got the best racing machine here today. And these Pony Stocks. <laughs> oh my gosh, did you just crack a pony joke? Don't wear out that knee with that slap. And on around is your leader, Sora, is in front of Jenda. And that's about as good as it could have finished. Yeah. So lap number two lead will go to the 77 of Danny French. I love how Sora spun out and he was still side by side. With <laughs> yeah, they're still racing. Yeah, that 86 car was pushing it hard on that line, but it's a nay. <laughs> ah, I see where we're going with this here today. Carrie Cecil up in the second spot in this number 42 truck. My Gotta flag. love when the trucks enter the field. and gentlemen, Pony Stock main event as we get ready to go. The 86 machine of John Soar is starting on the pole after a three car invert. 42C, that's Carrie Cecil starting in the second spot. Third third spot starter, the 19 machine of Tommy Jinda. Then we have 77D of Danny Friends, 06 of David Husterberger, 68K of Kevin Myrick, and we'll get to the rest of the numbers as we go green. Pony power into turn number one. One car going way wide. And contact. Oh, yeah, here we go. Oh, and there's more contact. French getting into Cecil a little bit. Battle for the lead. Soros goes wide and around. Also on this field, the number 12 machine of Don Minute Jr., 18V of Victor Garcia, 42T of Thomas Burnett, the 02 of Jeff Jones, yes. I'm loving this Honda. And the 55W of William Guevara. The only front wheel drive car in the field. All right, restart. Lab number one, green flag is in the air. Soros holds the lead. Nintendo. Battle for third. Cecil has some pressure on the outside from the 77 to French. French goes wide, wide, wide. You can hear the front wheel drive car. You sure can. So the factory stocks here, Jeffrey, they're four cylinder monsters. They're raced on this third mile. And a battle for fourth. Yeah, that's number 12 machine of minute. To the inside of French. French had a good run, was looking like he was contending for third, and all of a sudden lost a lot of time to your top three. Minute's like, well, that's fine, you do what you're doing. Here comes the 42 Cecil looking for the second spot into turn number one. The truck. That guy's a trucker. Looks like Guevara is off the pace down the back straight away in his number 55 machine. Good battle for the top three right now. He pulls it off. Will not bring out a yellow. Like you said, a great battle up front. But this battle, Tommy, if they continue like they're going, is going to catch up to a battle for last very soon. Cecil looking for a way around Jinda. Jinda looking for a way around Soros. Soros don't want nobody to mess with. Leave me alone, he 
pieces. That now, night machine was our fast qualifier here, Tommy, by over two tenths. I lied, but just under two tenths. The top two, Jeffrey, they raced weekly out at Orange Show Speedway in San Bernardino, California. Do you think there's any characteristics in this track that would uh, yeah, here show? we go, left track. <laughs> Ooh, doggy. I'd say so. This track, uh, I bet this track drives a lot like Orange Show, having not driven it or asked anybody, but it just, it, a lot of, just from the stands, as we have one car around in turn number two, it, it definitely reminds me of it. No caution comes out. It was a 68 machine who spun it around of Kevin Myrick. I think I know where you're going with it, though. This track with a low bank like Orange Show. Yeah. And, and kind of like the sweeping corners. Four cars now in your lead battles. Minute closes in from behind. You're going to have a great race to the finish on this one. through this 30 lap main event. Cecil throws it hard. Tommy, I don't know who has the best car in all this. Yeah, I don't either. And a caution would change a lot. Minute to the inside of Cecil. That's your battle for third. Now you got three orange show machines up front. These guys are... It, it, like you were saying, it's a great translation between the two tracks. I think that's where we're seeing a lot of these drivers coming up to uh, Arizona. Cool to see that traveling for a yeah. division like this. And the beautiful thing about here racing in Arizona is they don't race during the summertime during the point season for a lot of these drivers that travel up here. So this is extracurricular activity for a lot of racers to travel over. And this track benefits hugely from it. Out of our second might be on hand. Can Minute get to the inside of Jen? But that chop might come into play at some point. Or bumpers. We got bumpers for a reason. What's the point of buying one if you're not going to use it? Oh, man. Heavy lap traffic, though, for your leaders is just a straightaway ahead. And they see it. They're three wide ahead of your leaders. Garcia in the 18 machine. He's going to go wide. The front wheel drive 42 of Burnett and the 68 of Myrick. They're falling into the screen right now. Live traffic will play a part in this race. Sor is not getting a good exit out of turn number four. It's going to allow a little bit of closure right here from Jenda, but a nice hold on there by your leader. 42 Cecil, he's lost touch with your top three at this point. We can't count him out. We have no idea what's going to happen amongst these top three cars, especially the way they're kind of anchoring it into the turn. I wouldn't be surprised if we'd usually somebody get two. Soars off the pace, it looked like. Tommy, it looked like that. It looked like either he got sideways and lost a lot of speed. Or maybe a tire's going down on that car? I don't know. I don't know if that car hesitated or something, but... But he's going to let us know whether or not he's happy with so. I don't think he's happy. And I understand why he'd be upset. He did get technically turned, but Jenda had his foot in the gas just like Minute did. It looked, it looked weird because it looked like the 86. Yeah, fell off the pace or something. Sounds like the officials are calling it like we saw it. And funny enough, the nine of Jenda, <laughs> he kind of no, yeah, he, he had no way around getting into the back of the '86 when Minute ran into the back of him. <laughs> that was definitely a uh, bumper car scenario. Well, there's your caution that could change everything. We're about halfway through the, or no, we're over halfway. Thirty lapper. Yes, we are. Thirteen laps to go. Restart lap 17. Green flag now with a nine pull away. He was the fastest car here. Soros is going to be on a mission in his 86 machine. Three wide in the bag. The Soros on the outside of that three wide, making up some ground. Second, Cecil in the third spot. Yeah, the 86 of Soros is slowly coming in to the picture, but he's overdriving. 
driving that car now. Trying to get everything he can out of that 86. Whatever happens, I mean, it obviously didn't affect Soros' car more than that one little hiccup to the point where Soros was, seemed to be pissed off with the 9. Usually if your car has an issue to that extent, you know, you're like, oh yeah, no. I know what happened there. Tommy, you're looking at what I'm excited about. Minute is catching up to the 9. The crack of dawn on his way. I'm afraid to know what crack you're filming. <laughs> second behind the nine in qualifying. And now, lap traffic. <laughs> oh. Jeffrey, sometimes you qualify worse than you're going to race. Sometimes cars and drivers are better race car drivers than time trial racers. Good battle, brewing up for third. It's Cecil holding it over French, but Soares is starting to close in on that. Five laps to go. I found Ryan Vargas, he's running away. <laughs> I think French is gonna lose that little front, front end piece of his uh, Pinto. Pinto power. Man, we got the, uh, we got the pony power going out here. as we continue to race. Three laps to go 42. for Don Minnett Jr. in the number 12 machine. 02 going another lap down to Jeff Jones. He spun it out earlier in this race. Right when I went to get away from these Yeah, two. don't leave this one. Up front, they're tame with two laps to go. Back here, everyone wants a third spot. Get yourself on the podium. Soar is, is just looking for that redemption right now. Minnett will take the white flag. We do have a white flag. Look how wide Cecil goes. French is trying that inside line. Behind them, they're three wide, and we hold on to it. But out of turn number four, the number 12D of Don Minnett Jr. takes the victory in the Pony Stock main event. Battle for third. We're nearly three wide coming out of turn four. Contact with Soares and French, and French loops it on the front straight away. Well, we knew it was going to be an exciting race, and it was from start to finish. Good racing. Don Minnett Jr., your winner here today. Got to have a suit 95 Speedway. Ladies and gentlemen, we're only halfway through our main events for the day. Don't go anywhere. Get yourself something to drink now, something to eat if there's food available. But I'm telling you what. Oh, if you are bored and yawning, go down. now. You're taking up crucial oxygen in the stadium. It's only going to get better. Is this when I lose you? You know, if you're with the thing, you get the option to drive around with the checkered flag. And you're totally allowed to do that. We allow that to happen. Now, turn four. Come on, Anderson. The Anderson out of here. Let him know you enjoyed that main event. Congratulations. <laughs>
Oh no, you know what? You will. Really